Scoist Podcast A to Z Science Season 1, Episode 1, Anthropology. What is anthropology? Well, anthropology comes from the Greek word anthropos, meaning human, and ology, meaning the study of. So essentially, it's the study of humankind in all its forms. Anthropologists focus on the inner workings of groups of people who have different worldviews, values, and traditions, the development of culture, language, which are key characteristics that separate humans from animals, and uh, the clues about roots of our humanity and where we came from. Interesting. What are the different fields of anthropology? Uh, anthropology can be generally broken down into four fields. Uh, cultural anthropology, linguistics anthropology, archaeology, and biological anthropology. I study biological anthropology, which can be separated into several subfields, such as primatology, or the study of primates, osteology, the study of skeletal biology, paleoanthropology, the study of ancestral human fossils and evolution, and forensic anthropology, which is the study of human remains applied to a legal context. Hmm. We have picked two types of anthropology that we would like to go deeper into. Could you please explain paleoanthropology? Sure. Uh, paleoanthropology focuses on the fossils of extinct human ancestors to understand the evolution of humans and where we came from. Uh, skeletal evidence from new ancestral species and from previously identified species continuously work to revise ideas around our human family tree and where we and well how we view our place on the hierarchy of the world. Uh, the study of these early fossils provides key insights or clues into how, where, and why humans evolved. Paleoanthropology is a combination of mainly fieldwork, or looking for fossils, and scholarly work that takes place in museum and university laboratories, where fossils are preserved and archived for further detailed study. And what is forensic anthropology? Good question. Forensic anthropology covers the study of human remains within a legal context. So this could be um, like a murder victim, a missing persons, or unidentified remains. Um, so the application of forensic anthropology is used to help identify skeletal remains and the way in which the individual died. They can use this knowledge of bones and uh, ways to determine trauma to help with both historical and criminal investigations. They can provide uh, insight into, uh, sorry, beyond the body and into the surrounding environment by collecting samples of biological materials such as blood or spit found in the uh, crime scene or calculating the height and weight of a suspect based on footprints left behind at the scene. Oh. Tune in next month for another type of science and leave a comment for future anthropology videos. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed anthropology.